Some of you are going to need lots of money. You're going to need loads and loads of the stuff in order for you to buy those experiences and to create the changes that you hope for yourself. When you look at the physical plane, you can understand that it isn't designed for people to be rich. If we divided all the wealth up in the world among all of the people, okay, in fact, everybody would be millionaires. But the system is so designed that a few people have the wealth and the rest of the people do not have the wealth. And because it is designed like that, and because it's come down from thousands and thousands of years, the common man has to put in a certain amount of transcendent energy to pull himself or herself out of a system that isn't designed to assist you. I mean, imagine if you could go to work and in one week you could earn, let's say, $2 million. And you think, oh, Friday, I think I'll retire from here on out. The system isn't designed like that. But the way that the system is designed is that if you work really, really hard, it will spit out just enough cash to keep you just above what I call the revolution level. You know, where you're not out in the street tearing the system apart, but they fed you just enough to keep you going so that you don't blow away the system. The world that we live in is just owned by a few people. You know, let's say 500, 1,000 families own the entire world, okay? And they also own the governments, they own the societies, they own the banking systems, they own all the financial institutions, they dictate what interest you'll pay, how much rent you'll pay, what mortgage terms you'll receive, you know, what your car payments are. They decide everything for you.